Hello there, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Let's see if you really know everything about our sun. Oh, I love that. Tell me if this is true or false. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one. The sun is a star. Is it true or false? Two. The sun is the center of the solar system. Three. The sun is the largest heavenly body in the solar system. Four. The sun is a medium-sized ball of hydrogen and helium gases. Our sun will explode after reaching its peak size. Well, all of the answers are true. Are true. Are true. <laughs> yes. Now, if you are in shock, maybe it's time for you or it is a perfect time for you to watch this video and know more about our side. Now hop in! Well, of course, it's our protection from the intense ray of light during the daylight. Oh my god! Yeah! Well, I might just look at the sun in the evening. Wait, wait, wait. A sun in the evening? It's not even possible. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> oh, hi there. Welcome to Teacher's Day Black. Now, for today, we are going to talk about what this old man tells about the star. Was that even possible? What do you think? Well, you heard me right. A star is an exploding ball of burning gas held together by gravity. Remember, our sun is also a star because it produces great amount of energy in the form of light and heat that provide the perfect conditions for life on Earth. When you look at the night sky, the dots of light you see are stars. They are millions of miles away, and billions of stars exist in the universe, but many are too far away from Earth to see, even with a telescope. So stars are huge balls of burning gases, most of which are made of hydrogen. As the hydrogen gas in a star is squeezed due to gravity, it collides with one another or what we call fusion. They lose a tiny bit of mass and form helium. As they do so, they give off energy as in huge amount of energy which make it glow. Well, the size, temperature, brightness, and colors of the star vary. It means they all differ in terms of sizes, the amount of heat they are giving, and even their colors. What? Stars have color? Well, gotcha! The color of our star is determined by its temperature. Well, red stars are cooler in temperature. Blue stars are the hottest, and other stars like ours, which is yellow, are in between temperature. Now, the stars are really far away from Earth. With a strong telescope, we can see stars that are millions of light years away. Light years? Yes, a light year is how far light can travel in one year. Since light travels at 186,000 miles per second, it takes 8 minutes for light from the sun to reach the earth. 8 minutes? Yeah, you heard me right. The sunlight can travel for 8 minutes from its reference point to our earth. Now the next closest star to the Earth is the Proxima Centauri. 
which is a little over 4 light years away from Earth. So that is 250,000 times farther away from the Sun. While the brightest star in the night sky is Sirius, which is located around 500,000 times further away than the Sun. Now Sirius is also 20 times brighter than the Sun, which is why it is so easy to see at night. Wait, wait, wait. What about our Sun? Well, our star, the Sun, is in average when it comes to its size and its brightness. However, our star is extraordinarily important. Among all the planets in the solar system, Earth has the perfect distance from the Sun. The Sun provides heat and light to our planet, supporting life on Earth. Earth is in the habitable zone of the Sun. We are close enough to the Sun to benefit from the light and heat, but far enough away to prevent Earth from being too hot and vaporizing all the water. Now the Sun is much larger than Earth. By comparison, if the Sun were the size of a basketball, the Earth would be the size of a pencil point. Can you imagine now the size of our Sun compared to Earth? Hmm. How about the weight of the Sun? Well, we cannot weigh the Sun, but we can determine its mass or the amount of matter inside our Sun. Now to determine this, we need two facts. Yes, one is the time it takes a planet to go around the Sun. So for the Earth, the Earth takes 365.25 days or 365 in one fourth days. And second is the distance of the planet to the Sun. With these facts, we can tell the Sun's mass. So if you try to compute all the available information we have, the Sun is about 2 million trillion trillion kilograms. The Sun makes up 99.8% of the mass of our star system. What? Now comparing the life cycle of a star to a human, it is said that stars originate from a protostar or the fittest stage. Then the hydrogen gases inside it are fused together. That's why it becomes larger and larger until it became medium size just like our sun. Once the star reaches its peak size or what we call the red giant, the star cannot grow larger. That is why it is believed that the star will explode or will become a supernova. And later on, the small particles from the supernova will either be become white dwarf or a black hole. Do you know what's inside the sun? The sun is made up of layers of gases which consists of hydrogen and helium gases. Now to better understand this, let's try to discuss each part one at a time. The sun's core is its center, where most of its energy is produced. The temperature in this area is 10 to 20 million degrees Celsius. The next part is the radiation layer, which is the area where energy from the core moves out in all directions. Now the energy takes millions of years to move through this layer. The next layer is the convection layer. This is where gases are moving in circles. Now this movement carries energy through there in about a week. The next layer is the photosphere, which is the visible surface of the sun. The gases here are still very hot, but cooler compared with what's inside. Now, this is about 6,000 degrees Celsius or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, just outside the photosphere is the sun's atmosphere, which is made of the following. The chromosphere or the inner layer of the sun's atmosphere. Now when visible, it appears as a red circle around the sun. The next part is the corona, which is the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere. Now the corona takes on many shapes as the inner temperature changes. The bursts of energy are now called solar flares. Now this solar flare stretches from these two layers into space. 
Solar flares it causes interruption in radio signals, cell phones, and even in our television. Now, sunspots are the dark spots in the photosphere. They appear dark because the temperatures are lower than the gases around them. Mm, those are really cool facts. Now, I'm going to write them down on my notes. Can you repeat that again from the start? <laughs> Let's scramble the letters to identify the word described in 10 seconds. 1. This is the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere. 2. The inner layer of the sun's atmosphere, when visible, it appears as a red circle around the sun. And the answer is... Chromosphere. Good. 3. This is the sun's center where most of its energy is produced. And the answer is core. Good. Core. This layer is where energy from the core moves out in all directions. The answer is radiation layer. Number five. This is the visible surface of the sun. And the answer is photosphere. Number six. The next closest star to Earth which is a little over 4 light years away. And the answer is Proxima Centauri. Well done! Number 7. The temperature of the star is determined by its color. Now, what is the color of our sun? Gotcha! You got it right! Our sun is yellow. Number 8. The sun is made up of blank, which will later on unite to form stronger type of gas. answer is hydrogen. 9. When hydrogen collides, it will become a blank. The answer is helium gas. Good. Number 10. A unit of astronomical distance equivalent to the distance that light travels in one year. And the answer is light year. Well done. To go now. Actually, we are on a beach trip with our family. Samaka? 
Good job, guys. I hope that you have learned a lot in our lessons for today. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share all the things that you have learned from this lesson. Of course, don't forget to share this video. So, bye. bye. Don't forget.